Axelrod, Julius. Axelrod, Julius, 1912 to 2004, American pharmacologist and neuroscientist who shared the 1970 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for his discovery of the actions of neurotransmitters in regulating the metabolism of the nervous system. Julius, Julie, Axelrod was born on the Lower East Side of Manhattan in New York City, the son of Polish immigrants. Julius's father supported the family as a basket maker. Axelrod attended Seward Park High School, where he quickly developed an interest in history, literature, and science, and set his sights on medical school. In 1929, Axelrod enrolled at New York University, NYU, after one year, he transferred to the tuition-free City College of New York, which Axelrod later described as a proletarian Harvard. Axelrod graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in Biology in 1933. He applied to several medical schools, but was not admitted. Reflecting on these rejections, he told a newspaper reporter in 1970 that it was hard in those days for Jews to get into medical school. I wasn't that good a student but if my name was Bigelow I probably would have gotten in. Axelrod also found it difficult to find work in his field, especially in the middle of the Depression. After a brief stint as a laboratory technician at the Harriman Research Laboratory at NYU Medical School, Axelrod found a position in 1935 testing vitamin supplements added to food, particularly milk, for the New York City Department of Health's Laboratory of Industrial Hygiene. Axelrod remained in this position until 1946. During this period, he lost his left eye in a laboratory accident. In 1938, Axelrod married Sally Taub, an elementary school teacher. Over the next decade, the couple had two sons, Paul and Alfred. While working for the Department of Health, Axelrod took night classes at NYU and earned his Master of Science degree in Chemistry in 1941 after completing his master's thesis on the chemical breakdown of enzymes in cancerous tumor tissues. In 1946, Axelrod began conducting research on the chemistry of analgesic, pain-relieving, medications with Bernard Steve Brody at Goldwater Memorial Hospital on Welfare, now Roosevelt, Island. He continued to work with Brody whom he considered to be his mentor, for the next eight years. Their research together laid the foundation for Axelrod's lifelong enthusiasm for pharmacological science. In 1949, Axelrod accepted a position as a research chemist at the National Institutes of Health, NIH, in Bethesda, Maryland. From 1949 to 1955, he pursued many new projects at NIH that built upon his previous work. Although Axelrod clearly possessed the requisite skill and scientific expertise to carry out his own research, he knew that without a PhD his opportunities for career advancement were limited. In 1954, Axelrod took a leave of absence from the NIH to attend the George Washington University, where his advisor, George Mondell, permitted him to submit some of his recent NIH laboratory work as the basis of his doctoral dissertation. In 1955, in his early 40s, Axelrod graduated from GU with a Ph.D. in pharmacology after completing his thesis, The Fate of Phenylisopropylamines. A. X. E. L. R. O. D. J. U. L. I. U. S. Axelrod, Julius.